Hey everybody, I am with Ian Cleary. Ian is visiting me here in uh, Tennessee, which has just been wonderful to have friends connect like this. And there's so many things we could be asking this bright guy. But one of the ways, one of the things I admire him for the most is his networking capability. So we're going to explore that a little bit today. So Ian, uh, you know, I think you made an impression on me is, is how we met in, uh, I think it was Blog World in New York. And I mean, that was an example of you. You never really go to sessions when you go to a conference. No, absolutely not. So, uh, <laughs> the sessions, what I do is I'll buy the virtual pass. So much for content. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'll buy the virtual pass so I can uh, watch the sessions when I go home. Yeah. So it's easy to go in and sit down and listen to the sessions. It's much harder to stand out in the corridors trying to meet people. But that's where most things happen at conferences. It's the people that you meet. So, you know, I don't waste time saying spending an hour sitting down and listening to somebody because I can listen to that session when I get home. You know, but I love the networking. And for me, it's always like, how can I add value to that person? Mm -hmm. You know, the more I can add value, the, the, the better. But yeah, I do remember uh, chasing you down a corridor because I seen, <laughs> I seen you at one of the conferences. Yeah, yeah. But you were on my hit list. <laughs> I, mean, I, I had made a list of all the key influential people uh, that I wanted to meet and uh, build relationships with. Yeah. And you were on the list. And it's really been, uh, just, it's worked for you amazingly well. Yeah. Te now, you were just telling me a little story about uh, how you connected with, with Larry Benet this way. Larry is kind of a networking uh, guru, I guess, or expert. But you have a great story that's, that's made an impact on him. Yeah, I suppose with Larry Benet, I knew he was really highly networked, very influential person. And I was going, well, how can I create a, a, an impression on him? So I wasn't going to be looking for something of Larry. So I don't look for anything off anybody when we first meet people. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, Larry, you know, how can I help you when I met him? And he goes, well, I'm, I'm not sure. And I said, how's your website coming along? And he goes, well, there's, there's always improvements there to be made. And I said, well, what if I do a, a mini review of your website and let's meet later on and we'll sit down and go through it. And he said, that would be fantastic. So now I've got a one-to-one -one meeting with Larry Benet, you, you know, in the, in the afternoon. I spent about an hour sitting down at the conference doing a PowerPoint presentation based on his website. So it went into good detail and I came up with all sorts of suggestions of how he'd improve it. So then I sat down with Larry and I went through that presentation that day and explained to him exactly what he needs to do and then I gave him the presentation. Of course he was really impressed because I had taken the time out to do this. And he was going, what do you want in return? I don't want anything in return. That was it. I, mm -hmm. And I didn't. There was no expectation of anything in return. I'm just building relationships. Mm -hmm. And then I met Larry a couple of times at different conferences. And the other day, somebody connected me online and they said they heard about me through Larry Benet's webinar. So Larry's gone around promoting me on his webinars to all his influential people that he's connected with. And again, I haven't looked for anything for Larry, but if I want to, for example, now ring Larry, I can mm -hmm. get onto him and say, you know, uh, he will help me in any way. Ian, another thing that you do is how you promote yourself when you're speaking at conferences is very unusual. Yeah. And uh, so tell a little bit, and you've got something in your pocket there you need to, you need to show us. Okay, so when I was speaking at events, yeah. first of all, it's I'm delivering content. So I'm speaking at an event and it's content. Mm -hmm. Content is great and you can attract an audience to an event. Well, why don't you promote that content a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Same with blog content or same with a speech. Yeah. So when I'm at an event, what I do is I produce custom cards for my event. So I'll have a something a little bit funny on the front of the card. Mm -hmm. And when then you open up the card, you'll see details of the event. And I'll have a little poem on the right-hand mm -hmm. side. And, of course, on the back, I have a little call to action as well. So mm -hmm. I get people to go for a free training course as well, mm -hmm. a free blog training course. Well, what I do is before the event, uh, that's the second one, which mm -hmm. is slightly different. So it's all custom cards depending mm -hmm. on the event. Mm -hmm. Before the event, I will go up to a lot of people and say, what are you doing at 12 o'clock on Monday <laughs> uh, when my event is on? Mm -hmm. And they're saying, I'm not sure. And I'd say, come to my event. It's going to be very practical. Lots of really useful tips. Will you come along? And most people will say, yes, I will. <laughs> so there's a couple of real benefits for doing this. One is I, I get more people into the room, uh, mm -hmm. absolutely, because most people, speakers don't do that, don't invite people mm -hmm. into the conference. Second, I've created a connection with these people, so I see lots of friendly faces when they come into the room. 
and they're prepared to go along with my messing when I get people to cheer or, or <laughs> applaud or any of that because they've seen me and have got to like me from the initial introduction. Uh, I was at an event uh, in Cancun there only last week speaking and our room was packed and there's people sitting on the floor, mm -hmm. uh, the whole lot. I asked many mm -hmm. people. You, know, uh, you were in Cancun. I, I, I was in Cleveland just for the record. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so and uh, it was at least 50 people put up their hands said they got the card. Yeah. So the cards just make you stand out as a mm -hmm. speaker as well. And I'm going around chatting to more people as well as an excuse to network. Ian, what advice would you give to some young person, some new person entering our field just starting out? How, how, how would you use your experience to help them uh, build an audience and ignite their content? Okay, well, the first thing is to identify your, your niche or, or niche, as I say, in the U.S., to make you stand out so your content's a little bit different than everybody else. I write detailed content because if you put a lot of effort into your content, more people will link to that content, which means that you will end up with better results in, from a Google perspective, and then go out and just start building the relationships. Identify the key influential people in your industry and start interacting and building the relationships. Share their content, interact with their blogs, subscribe to their newsletter, meet them at conferences, and then they will naturally share really good content. But you have to have the really good content. It all starts with content. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been so great catching up with you here in Tennessee. It's been so, so much fun. Uh, tell people how they can find you on the web. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me, Mark, and thanks for beating me at tennis this morning. <laughs> but, uh, you can find me on www. Wait a minute, what, what was that? <laughs> Did you say? Me, beating me at tennis. I beat you at tennis? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this has nothing got to do with Did I beat you by a lot? Did I beat you by a lot or a little? <laughs> It was close. It was close. Two sets to nil, though. Yeah, you, but, you but, but, I, but I won, yeah. And I'm quite a bit older than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, to be honest, a relationship building doesn't come down to losing in tennis. I lost in tennis because you're better. So yeah. there, you, there you go. Uh, find me on www.razorsocial.com or on Twitter at Ian Cleary. All right, thanks, Ian. Thank you very much for having me.